All right, ladies, let's do the morning check-in. What are you working on today? Jasmine Salazar and her team have a crucial role in the Diocese of Brooklyn. As Vice Chancellor and the Victim Assistance Coordinator, she provides support to those who have experienced sexual abuse. So that they know that someone, that the church does care, we're not just going to abandon you. In October, allegations in the diocese were made against former executive director of the Catholic Youth Organization, also called CYO. Robert Caldera is being accused of abusing underage boys in two civil lawsuits filed in Queens. They allege the abuse happened back in the 1990s while he was a CYO basketball coach at St. Joseph's Church in Astoria. The diocese independent reporting line, which links directly to the district attorney's office, received the two allegations. Once we, we received the allegation, we um, provided outreach to the victim. Jasmine and her team jumped in. Outreach, crisis intervention, referrals to therapists, the help was immediate. For the long-term care, they also have a victim survivor group for male survivors of clergy abuse and an annual Mass of Hope and Healing. The diocese is doing everything they can to stop predators. We can't prevent everything. We, it, you know, we don't live in a perfect world. Crime is there, predators are there, but we have to do just the best we can, and, and we are trying. Mary Ellen Quinn runs the Safe Environment Office, aimed at preventing predators with background checks and training programs like Virtus, which teaches people how to spot signs of abuse. They've trained 100,000 adults since the diocese adopted it in 2003. They also train kids in what is and isn't normal adult behavior, 70,000 a year among school and church programs. You know, we have these programs in place that other places don't, um, and we, we're just doing the best that we can. Both teams from the Diocese of Brooklyn doing their best to assist current victim survivors and to prevent new ones. In Windsor Terrace, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents News. Like the Office of Victim Assistance just explained, the protection of children is the utmost priority for the Diocese of Brooklyn. Let's take a closer look at their process with Caldera. On October 14, 2020, the independent reporting line received the first allegation against Caldera. He was suspended the following day and restricted from all areas at CYO and other diocesan properties. On October 19th, a second allegation was called in. The diocese provided outreach and cooperated with the NYPD the entire time. And on April 14, 2021, Robert Caldera was terminated. To contact the diocese's toll-free and confidential sexual abuse reporting line, dial 888-634-4499. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.